What's up, YouTube? Zig's Vids. Check them out. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Ziggy here, Zig's Vids. <sighs> yeah. Got to do a little work. It's all good, though. Just a little oil change, you know what I mean? Something simple, something easy, real quick. Everybody can do this, so do it. Here we go. Boom. There's the oil filter. Inline six. Intake. Yo, even got an assistant. Big Jeff Fafa. He showed up, holding on the frame. Jacked it up because you know, fat man gotta get up underneath there for a bit. But hey, nothing but a thing, you know what I mean? Let's get it. Alright, before we get into this though, I gotta show you this high-tech machinery that I be working with here. You see that hood prop? Yeah. Custom made right there. You know what I mean? You get the when you get the car up in the air, you know you gotta check the tires, right? Boom, look at that. Got that extension on there. Extra torque. Keep that tire in place. All right, YouTube. I don't know if I'd get you on camera because I don't have a phone prop. But there's the oil pan. Plug. Let's get it up. All right, so I got ready to start. And I realized something. We're missing something. When you're doing an oil change, you kind of need something to put the oil in. And I got one of those over there. Not back here where I need it. Hm. All right, let's see if I can do this one handed. My fat ass underneath here. You know, it helps. Right way. So, all right, so let's try this again. Kind of do like everybody else does, where you pre loosen it first and then you throw it on the camera. Because guess what? It works a lot easier that way. Damn, is there any oil in there? Okay. There we go. Look at that. Nasty ass shit. Dire need of an oil change, bad. Hey, again or done, what up? Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, smash that bell, get that notification for the next time the new videos drop. All right, all right, so while the, the oil pan's draining, we're gonna go ahead and take off the oil filter up here. Here, don't forget, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big blue thing. Now, some of y'all would reach for that, that metal, the old metal loop. I got this guy. Can be a little pain in the ass to work, but man, that looks good. But anyways, she works good. Once you figure out how to use the damn thing. All right, here we go. Already got broke. Real simple. I mean, you wrap it around. Should pick it down in there. That flips over. She tightens it. There we go. Gets the tension. Oops, I'm caught. And then all it does is. Well, it does. Ah, see, you sometimes gotta slide it back. Boom. Look at that, though. She's loose. Go to the side. Reach down. Spin that bitch off. Blah, blah. How do you like me now? We're just going to take that right off of there. Hey, Jeff, you want to hold that? Yeah. He won't get dirty. So now, just wait. Let her drip. Got that drip. Yeah, yeah we stupid over here. Ain't nothing going to be smart on this spot. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all know me. <laughs> we straight dummy. Fat man under the little car. Help. Yup, we still dripping. Man, I knew you was here. I just follow the drip all the way here. Follow the drip. Drip, 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 drip. Right up to you. Y'all know the movie. Throw it down in the comments. I know the line ain't perfect, but y'all get the drift. Two tears in a bucket. Bucket. Yeah, that's boring. Hey, so while we wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Got to fix the lid. Hey, where'd y'all go? There you are. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? All right. So, 
while we wait for that to drip. Let's see if we can fire out the lawnmower. I still ain't took care of it yet. All right, you two. I think it's time to get back to the oil change. No more fun. Time to do some work. Oh no, fat man down. Pain still chilling. Hey, Jeff, you have some explaining to do. All right, so we back. We back underneath the Jeep, the Dub J, the O3 inline six. You know I me. Mean. Okay, so one good thing before you do is always make sure they equal. Not equal, but you know what I mean. They're the same size. Whatever. Grab some of this used oil here. You gotta get dirty. Cook it up. If you run that gasket. Hold up, hold up. Keep it all in. Here we go. Alright, let's try it this way. Do, do, do. Make sure you get the oil in there. It's a lot easier if you're doing it without trying to put it on camera. But whatever. Just a little bit. I mean, it's kind of like just lubing up the, the gasket. Make sure it seals properly and doesn't leak. Chill. Hey, we do it. Man. Good to go. Any more. Take your old one. Throw that bad boy in the trash. Or give it to your partner. Let him throw it on the ground. The hell? And then you just simply reverse your step from when you took it off. Get my hands down in here. No need for the tool because this is only going to be hand tightened. If you can get it in there. Insert comment. Jokes. There we go. Spin. Cool thing about the friends, they got that grippy shit on there. Like I said, you only need hand tight. Bam. Maybe. Right. I like the blue, but we go classic with the friend. Now, we head underneath. Call my fat ass underneath this WJ. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Put the bolt in, and then we can fill it up with some oil. It's a new Earl. You know what I'm saying? Fat man underneath the little car. <sighs> Ridiculous. <laughs> All right. So, see? This is the drip. This is the drip. That ain't shit. What is the shit? Where did I put that bolt. Glad I. Stretch your fat ass up easier for you skinny pokes. You ain't gotta worry about shit. Or if you jacked up, yeah, you ain't gotta worry about shit. Me, stock height, um, with the wide body, uh, myself, it's a little harder. But there we go. Hit it with the ratchet, which my dumb ass left up top. Tighten her up a little bit. And you're good to go. I'm pretty sure there's a torque on it, but whatever. Also, just thought of something. Damn, besides my beard being all jacked up. Make sure you wipe off the little spot. Hold on, let's crawl down here. I'll show you. Where you put the, the bolt in. So that way you can tell <laughs> if you leak it or not. So you see how before, where there was a leak, then we started that little dribble dribble. Wipe that off. Not so nice and clean. So when you put your new oil in, you better to tell if you sprung a leak or not. You know what I mean? All right, another quick tip. Get you one of these. Make life a lot easier when you're dealing with this crap. You got to close it off when you're done with it. A little vent. You get done? You stand that bad boy right up. Look, look, look. Well, I wouldn't have because there's still a little bit of sludge in there. But you can stand it up. Good to go. When you put the new oil in, you take this and you dump it into that. Then you take it down to the stove and get rid of it. Or he'd be like us and put it in the garage with the other 20. So yo, 
another cool tool to have while you're working on your own stuff floor jack four ton floor jack do anything you even fix that bad boy up all right so putting the oil in this is as simple as a glug glug you know what i mean all right so when it comes to filling it up it's real simple on cap on cap pop four bam and if you're good enough you don't spill that Here we go. Let's try this. See, if you're careful, you don't spill as much. I'm not careful. I spill that shit everywhere. But, drop in the whole five quarts. Old Google and a web. Hey, where'd y'all go? Come back. There you are. They say six quarts. I dropped the five in. Let it sit for a little bit. Bring it. This shit expensive. Get every last drop. Nah, just... Try and clean up as much as you can because it will burn up and smoke once your engine heats up. I ain't too worried about it. Some fools would be like trying to get their shit spotless. Yo, I take my shit to the mud, the cornfields. It don't matter. You see my head all rusty. Okay, call. Well, there we go. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Check the dippy. This guy right here, for y'all don't know. Joe, high mileage, Castro 1030. There it is. What up, though? Yo, this is to my homeboy Ray. I got you on that red eye. That leg maker? I ain't got nothing on me, homie. I got you right here. Check it out. That? That's high quality. Ooh. I'm telling you. Extra one and a half horsepowers to the WJ. Hey, but for real though, that motherfucking, that red eye you got, bro, that's a beast. High quality right there. Yep. Also, let me know if you like these little shot video type things, little wrenching videos. I'll do a little more. I always got shit to fix. Never get around to it, but I always got shit to fix. Get at me. Write the comments down below. What's up, YouTube? Hope you liked the video. Just a little short one. I know a lot of people know how to do their own oil. Whatever, you know what I mean? Felt like I could show it. Have a little good time with it. Crack some jokes. But if you liked it, hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe. Smash the bell. You know the drill. Appreciate the views. See you next time. Deuce.